Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Road to Supersonic Legends series. We're on episode number nine here with Silver 2 Division 4. Hopefully, this uh, episode will be moving into the top end of Silver 3 and moving into gold quite soon. We've been in silver for quite a while. Uh, just It's taking a lot longer than I expected, so I think I might try to play a few off uh, and play the same way I'm doing it throughout the whole series and then hopefully move through the ranks a little bit faster. But if you guys are enjoying the episodes as we're going through this quite slowly, uh, I'm showing every single game that I'm playing. I don't mind doing that as well, so let me know in the comments if you guys uh, would prefer that. Uh, but as requested from you guys, the most liked comment on the last episode, we are a Musty Cow fan today with a Mertzy profile picture. I'm not sure what you, why you guys wanted that so much, but here we are. <laughs> we jump into the first game and we'll see how it goes. Alright, we got the first game. I'm clocking in as a silver. I gotta remember to play like a silver. Think like a silver. Be a silver. Now we got a full PS4 lobby. It seems to be a very common thing down in these ranks that I'm not very used to. Is you you have uh, a lot of players at uh, at lower ranker on console, and when I when I'm at my level in Super League Legends, you know, top 10, top 50, um, you have a lot more players. Oh, nice shot. I kind of popped that a little bit too heavy, but we did set up our teammate, and he finished it off. So, um, but as I was saying. Yeah, when you're in the top 50, there's not very many console players. Most players that are competitive at that level, they play on PC. Um, or have transferred over to PC. So I'm just going to flip in the middle here and watch where the ball goes. I see that it goes up and, and that guy's coming for the ball. My teammate might need that boost, so I'm going to leave it for him. Nice touch in the corner. Now we're going to wait for that guy in the corner to make a touch. He does make a miss. Pop it forward. Let's see if... <laughs> Boosty toot Tootin? Tuton? See if he makes a play. Bit of a pop down the field. I want to make sure I drive underneath the ball and boost to it to grab the ball. And then pop it up. I'll move behind. It's a good shot. I'm going to jump like this. I'm not going to save it. It was a good pop. And uh, I don't want to take that away from the guy, especially at this rink. Um, he made a good shot towards net and popped it. And there we go. So we're tied up. Like I said, I'm not going to be trying to make any saves or or shots myself if I can to try and let my teammates sort of carry me uh, and do what they like uh, do what they can and uh, you know don't be too overbearing in the in the in the map and in the field we'll have to see how this game uh, you know changes as we move on we're at one to one teammate wants to make a challenge we're just gonna sit behind him pop it out in midfield there just stay up the back wall don't make sure you, you kind of Shadow that player in the corner. Especially if your teammate is sitting behind and waiting. See if he makes a touch. He's waiting for me, which is good. To pop off the wall and then... He said sorry because he was kind of confusing me a little bit. It's a good pop. I'm going to fake this. By that I mean I'm just going to jump at it and miss. Hopefully my teammate can come in. Move behind here. It's a good touch. Ends up hitting off the opponent, but it's all right, all, all right there. There we go. See if Fusti can move up. It's a good touch. I'm just gonna jump like this, make it a make a touch. I want to stay in mid and watch those touches and and sort of scan the field. I'm gonna miss this again. I'm gonna try and go for it. You know that's what you should be trying to go for when you're going for those. Just uh, when you see it come in mid, and uh, I'm getting a wow from my from my teammate. This might be uh, <laughs> we'll have to see what happens from that. I'm gonna hit it forward. Make sure I pop it off the sidewall. Teammates coming in, trying trying to make a play. As you can see, this ball's coming at the wall. You can let this bounce towards you if you just sit right here. Teammate tried to jump in though, so I'm just gonna wait behind. Make a good touch. You see, we're getting into better players here. A little bit too many. I'm, I'm wave dashing and stuff. I probably shouldn't be doing that. It's a good dunk here. See if my teammate can move up and make a shot. It's a good try. So now I'm alone here. He throws the ball away, so now I can take it to the corner. I can fall at the wall. It's a bit too far off. You would want to jump off to that towards that, but that's a bit more advanced. So I'm just gonna wait. Make a flip to the side. I could have left that for my teammate, but I wasn't sure if he was there. And that's that's a big thing as well, is that you you can't assume things uh in ranked when you don't have people talking with you. Teammate is kinda right on my bum, but I'll just uh Move behind. 
It's a good try. Come in here, my teammate left it for me, which is good. Pop it mid. It's a good block. I don't want to go on this yet because he's a challenging, but the second he flips the ball away, then I have possession and I can take it to the corner. You'll see at a higher level, a lot of players, when they have possession like that with a 1v2 or 2v1, they come in and uh, make a dribble instead of pop the ball away like that. You can see that. Get that like that. Hopefully my teammate can come in. So they were doing a good job of just staying level-headed and, and staying in the in the game. Um, I don't want to do too much, like I said. And we obviously had some previous episodes. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Where we... Um, <laughs> we did a little too much and scored a lot more goals than we expected to. My teammate is up the field. I'm going to see if he wants to make a pass to me. It's a smart thing to do to try and like lead into the pass there. Just in case he does. You don't want to get too close to the opponents. He's going to pop it. See if my teammate can come in and make a shot. It's a good save. Just making challenges in midfield where I can see that I can make a touch that beats them. I'll loop wide here. And wait for them to make a touch. Make a touch off the back wall. It's a bit more advanced. As you can see, he said what a save because of it too. So, showing my true colors a little bit. That's a good save too. I think they would have probably made a good shot. He's saying what a save again. So, as you can see, I'm just using my boost management to... I'm, I'm, also, um, I'm also half flipping a lot. When I'm, when I'm making those backflips, which is just a natural thing I do. Um, you see, I'm making too many touches that are, you know, sort of taking over the pressure. i jump like this and move, miss. Hopefully my teammate can move up. I'll sit back here, just in case he misses. I don't really uh, trust silver players too much here. This guy's jumping off the wall. The other guy jumped way really really early. Good try off the corner. Has to be a teammate to score here, so if I can wait in mid here. Problem is, if my teammate's gonna be jumping in like that, it's gonna be hard to make a pass. I'll get a bump and then pop it. Good try. So I don't want to push in too much. Oh boy. You see, I'm not moving too fast or doing anything too crazy. The reason why I always have so many points whenever I'm playing these games is just I'm I'm being patient, which is a, a, a skill that it doesn't sound like a skill, but that's a big skill in Rocket League is to be have patience because there's lots, a lot of more time than you think. Like right here, I can just stay with the ball and force out the opponents, make a fake challenge. Oh, wow. That's a good read from the opponent. So then I'm going to read it. I'm going to... Loop out a little bit wider and then make a touch. Teammate's pretty far, but it's going towards net. It's a good save. That's pretty scary to challenge there because he could have chipped it in mid. I had faith that I would be able to make that touch though. Let's see what's happening here. My teammate can go for it. Can he get it? Close. I have to score it. I mean, in that situation, it's free, and I'm just, like, driving towards it. And he uh, he made a good pop. And here, like, I'm in the way, and I'm getting bumped, but let's move forward and shoot it. Um, it was good for him to challenge that. They were in a really tough situation there. I don't want to, like, annoy people, and I think that's also part due in part to the fact that I don't want to annoy my teammates. Um, where I'm playing so bad that I can't even, like, help them. I mean, obviously, I'm not playing bad by any means, but if I'm if I'm purposely missing stuff where, like, this guy wants to win, and and, and I'm not trying to to win the games per se, I'm just playing them as if, uh, you know, as if I exist in this rank. And I know that people have said that I'm not missing as much as a silver would, but I'm not trying to reinforce bad behavior as much. Like, obviously, I'm not gonna go for big aerials and air dribbles and stuff and hit them consistently. Uh, so like with aerials, I'm trying to like show that you should go for them, but not maybe always hit them. Uh, you want to practice going for stuff that you should go for, even if you can't do it yet. Get out of your comfort zone, and you'll find that you'll rank up a lot faster. All right, a Musty Cow fan reporting for duty. So, one flip forward, I heard, is how you get to a kickoff in silver. Most people play like that. Once I go for that kickoff, I'm going to go for the mid boost, and then move back in midfield. Drew Who is going in for the touch, but this is a bit dangerous because there's two players on the ball. That touch back for my teammate is actually really good because I can follow it after he clears it. 
Good touch. Right here, I hear the guy next to me, so I'm just be careful. I get touched off the corner. Kimmy wants to stay with it. Before, maybe you can touch it. It's a good try. I'll go forward then and make a touch. Oh no. Good shot. There we go. So that that was a big mistake by the opponents. I made it clear to the uh, to the midfield. Actually, I didn't even touch it. He touched it. So you know what? I didn't do anything there. That was all them. <laughs> I didn't touch the ball once. I thought I made a touch off that corner, but I just barely missed the, the pop out. It's a high ball here. You should try to go for this in midfield, but my teammate also wants to go, so I'm going to be a little careful. i move back here. Wait for the touch. They hit it towards me, but they're still staying on it, so it's a little dangerous as last man. I don't think I'm just shadowing the corner. Stay close to the ball. <laughs> there we go. I got a touch. Teammate wants to come in. A good try. Nice. So we are silver three, by the way. I didn't. I don't know if I mentioned it, but we're silver three division two now, which is good. We're starting to move up a little quicker. Good patience by Doctor Who there. I re or, or Drew Who. I don't. I'm not sure how to say his name, but the way he's scanning midfield is, is keeping all the pressure. I'm not even doing anything here. I'm just doing what he's doing, but just further behind. It's a good touch. He's doing a good job of just waiting in mid, waiting for the touches. Maybe he's watching my series. Take a good touch mid. Hit to the corner. And also, I would like to mention that uh, people don't see what my car is. I don't have Alpha Boost actually on. It's a good try. There was a lot more time to not aerial for that. Uh, Drew who tried, but um, you got to also know when it's necessary to aerial when the ball's really high up. But other times, um, you don't have to. So I'm just going to pop this off the wall. It's a pretty, pretty fast touch. See if they can make a touch. Good clear from a 24k solar. Way behind for the uh, the pop. It's a bit high. It's a good try. That guy popped off the backboard and there was no one to follow. Um, since both of them were in the corner. You should try to jump up for this, but obviously that's really hard. So that's that's a good shot for my teammate right there too. Um, in those situations, you if you learn how to aerial off the walls, which I would definitely recommend. And I talked about those a little bit. Um, oh no. Oh no, what is happening? Oh no. Are we, we're getting our first, are we getting our first taste of toxicity? I think we might be. <laughs> oh no. It's funny because his teammate's actually carrying him. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually always the case too. The player who's complaining is usually the one doing worse. They're just like in a bad mood. They hit it right into me. I didn't have to do too much there. It would have been really funny if that guy hit that in his own goal. Obviously I don't want to score that because it's a tough angle. You have to boost a lot to get back. I'm going to boost towards the uh, the midfield. The ball's coming around in mid. I gotta be a little bit careful to loop wide there. This guy's just chasing down the ball. He's, he's playing like he's angry. It's a good try. There's lots of time. They'll make, make a good save here. He doesn't, but teammate comes in and cleans it up once again. And let's see what, let's see what 24K Solar has to say. Because you know it's coming. Let's see what uh, let's see what happens there. Let's see how 24k solar deals with this. Close. I mean, he hasn't 24k solar really hasn't done anything in this game. I'm not sure why he's you know chatting it up. Let's we'll see what happens. Oh no, he bumped his teammate off the wall. That's a good shot. I'll let that in. Um, it's a good try for my teammate to come, come in for that shot. But uh, I won't mention it. I, w I mean. 
doing a lot. <laughs> You know, I just gotta say it. Teammates, look at these making good clears and stuff. And Solar is not anywhere to be seen on defense. You know, it just happens. It's very common that the player who is struggling is gonna be upset. That's a good shot too. He does pass it over my teammate, he makes a clear. It's a good shot. I'll say a nice shot as well. So he makes a touch. Pops it over to the opponent. And let's see if he blames his teammate for that one. <laughs> you just passed it <laughs> to my teammate. <laughs> we'll see what he says back to that. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> and let me look, look, look at the score differential. He's, he's passed it to me, so I'm going to score that. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is weird. We're already up five, four to one, so it's not really matter. It doesn't really matter. But you can see he just pops it to me. And then I just, I'm just there to finish. I think he's a little bit, a little bit, uh, delusional there. <laughs> His teammates, oh, whoops, my bad. His teammate has done a lot. And, uh, yeah, there was a bit of a, a few mistakes on defense, but Solar is not any better here. You see, I'm just going to hit this forward. And, uh, yeah, he's very upset. Can tell you right now. Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> oh well. I mean, it happens, man. You don't have to be toxic to your teammate, though. Like, I get that this game can be frustrating, but there's no reason to be upset, especially when you're at a level where you, you really have no reason to talk about how you're playing, because there's just so much to learn still. And he's making touches that aren't really, like, efficient or good for his team. And he's calling out his teammate after a mistake he makes. So it, it's very common. And it's easy to push the blame, but you have to realize that there's stuff that you can always improve on at your rank. And uh, it's it's to be said for everybody. Even me, there's always stuff to improve. I learn things every day playing this game, especially at the highest, highest level. Um, it really is just, just the, the name of the game, you know what I mean? You just gotta always learn, to always, always evolve. Teammates coming in, it's good clear. So we're starting to move up in the ranks, and he makes a good shot. And they do miss. But we're looking like uh, we're moving a little bit faster here. Got a good shot shot for, uh, by Vicente Pego. I probably messed that up really badly, but... So to hit that to the corner with the flip. Once again, watch midfield. You can see how much more valuable this midfield uh, scanning is at this rank. Because they're getting a lot more clears, and you can just sit in midfield and watch. Let's see if my teammate goes in. He's being wise and just staying back. It's a good clear. So some well, a few more aerials. So take this boost since he's near me. Clear that down the field. You really want to stay with that, but I don't want to hold on a possession too much and make too many dribbles. I like my teammate though. He's he's. Being patient with his touches, he's not going in, not just barreling in. He's just watching midfield, waiting for the touches. Let's see how this plays out here in the corner. A bit of a miss. Oh my gosh, they just double dribbled that. Looks like they're going for the world record for, uh, <laughs> for the two-man dribble. I got G2 Rizzo, by the way. Didn't know he was down here. I know he lost to a silver, but... Struggling a little bit. So I'm going to stay with this, just dri dribble behind. Stay, let the ball do the work. My teammate did bump me, which can be pretty dangerous. So I'm going to move back. Make a slight touch. I'm going to stay with this close. Teammate doesn't really see that I'm just sitting on the ball, which is okay. I'm going to hit this towards net and see what they do. You know, I don't even know why I say it anymore. Like, I'm just trying to... Add some pressure and, and let him clear it. But he did a bit of a wide turn there. One flip forward. Off the kickoff. Sit back and watch watch this unfold. It's a good touch back. It's actually pretty good to pass that back and keep possession. I'll keep the boost for him. 
There we go. Let's take a touch from Rizzo. Oh, bit of a bump. Let's get in the corner here if I can. I'm going to miss that because it's pretty high. See if my teammate can make a challenge in the corner. Staying close. It's good not to flip on those because you want to just stay close and not hit the ball too far away from your car. So that's a good challenge and I'll move back again. Wait, midfield. See, just rinse and repeat. Get some pressure. Just pop it back like this. Hopefully this guy doesn't miss this time. He doesn't. Just pop it up. See my teammate can finish it off. Good uh, lead up there. So that you can see how disruptive those pops are. If you're at this rank and you can get this like rolling ball to pop up super high like that, it just causes so many issues. You don't have to jump or anything. Just drive right into it. The, the nose of your car will pop the ball super high. And it'll help you uh, throw off the defense. You know, you, you have to make them time the bounces and stuff, which isn't the easiest thing when you're starting off. Oh. What is going on here? It's like a boost steal. I would have I would have beaten him to it if I wanted to go get it. But it's a good idea for him to try and steal the boost. It's a good save. You should really take this boost in the corner since that guy's going to maybe grab it if you don't steal it. So that's why I took it. Let's make a corner touch. Teammate's really far ahead. It's alright. See my teammate wants to make some touches, so I'm not gonna save this if it's in, which it is. Um, it's a good shot, and it's a high touch, and it's very, very fast to react to. You gotta make sure that you position uh, back to shadow it. But like I said, I'm gonna let that in because that was a good shot. Get that to the corner. So what he should do is grab that, take the boost. I'm actually lagging a little bit. Classic. A bit too advanced to stop myself there. It's a good shot. Almost to the top corner. If he wants to stay on this, you want to wait for his touch and then sit here. You can see that you can see that he's gonna beat me. So that's why I'm waiting for him to make his touch. And at a higher level, what he what he would would do is he would know that I know that. And in, and and instead not hit off the wall and, and wait for the ball. So that's why like this this game is like a, a level of like it's like 40 chess. Because Oh no. Um Nah, it's okay. We're already we're already up two gold anyway. Um, it's like a, like a level of forty chess where he knows that I know that he knows that I know that he knows that I know that he's gonna touch the ball. And there's the forfeit. That is the uh, the last game of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you are a uh, upper level player and you you know just reinforce some some level of you know thought in the midfield and. Also, just a takeaway is not to be toxic to your teammates, but that's we already know that. We're already silver, uh, silver three division three, so we're near gold now, which is getting a little bit more mechanical. You can see people are a little bit more accurate with their shots and positioning. It's good to see that we're as we're moving up, uh, the level of play is increasing and improving. But hope you guys enjoyed the episode. This is episode number nine. If you want to keep up with the series, make sure you follow the playlist. Um, I'm gonna be adding the episodes as we go through. But until next time, guys, have a great day, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.